Hello dear students, this is Murali here. We have started with the process costing chapter. In the previous class we have gone through the introductory part of process costing. We have seen what is exactly mean by process costing and why this process costing method is applied. In which kind of industries process costing is applied. Now we are straight away moving to the problems in the chapter process costing. So we are starting with problem number one. We are starting with problem number one. So how we are going to prepare the process accounts that we are going to see in this problem. So initially as it is the first problem we, are, we have taken a very small problem and with the limited adjustments. Okay. So here no, much adjustments are not there. A simple uh, just an idea just to give the given idea how we will uh, we should prepare the process accounts only that thing you're going to learn from this problem okay from the next problem onwards we are going to work out the uh, problems with more adjustments okay so kindly go through the problem number one the product x okay so what is exactly the product here product product is here x product is x required three different processes that is a b c okay so if the product is x for producing product x so these things you have to understand very clearly if the product is product x so in order to produce product x in order to produce product x that has that has to go through three different processes okay that has to go through the work that has to the raw materials that the processing should be should go in uh, a product process a also then after a then b then c so if the product if the raw materials are processed in these three processes then ultimate product will come out that is the that product is product x okay so now product x required three different processes that is abc and after the third process, what is the third process here? Third process is three here. After the third process, the product is transferred to finished stock. Okay, that means product X is ready now. Okay, now the product X is after pro third process, that is third process means C. So after the pro third process, that is after process C, the finished goods, okay, that is the product X will be transferred to finished stock. Okay. That is for sale. Okay, that is for will be sent to finished stock will be considered as a finished stock or finished goods, and that will be for sale. Okay, that will be transferred to finished stock. Then we have to prepare process accounts from the following. Okay, so here is an information particulars are given. Then the total of the expenses, materials, labor, and ex uh, direct expenses are given. Process A. There are three different processes: product process A, B, and process C. Okay, here is an information regarding what is the amount of direct materials used in, in totally 5000 totally 5000 amount of direct materials are used for the production of uh, productive X. I hope you are getting now. This is a way to understand now. So for producing product X totally in total 5000 amount of direct materials are used. Okay, then we have to see there is an information regarding process wise also in process a 4000 amount of direct metals used in process c 600 rupees that is the amount of metals is used and in last process that is in the process c 400 amount of materials is used okay then labor the work the, the what is exactly mean by total direct labor is 4000 total direct labor is 4000 that is the labor or wages of the worker involved in the production process processing Okay, that's the process E 1500, process B 1600, then process C 900. Then direct expenses totally, direct expenses 800 in that process A for process E 500, then for, for process B 300. In total, it is 800. In there is process C, there is no process direct expenses. Then one more information is here that, that is the production as with regard to production overhead. Production overhead is rupees 6000 that is rupees 6000 and how it should be allocated 
okay here it is, it is given it, to, it should be allocated on the basis of direct wages so we should take direct wage that is a direct labor as a base for the allocation of production overhead among three processes that is process a b c i hope you're getting now so we have to allocate or we have to distribute the amount of production overhead of rupees 6000 among three different processes ABC in the ratio of direct wages in the ratio of direct ratio okay on the basis of direct wages then production was 200 units production was product output is uh, is 2200 units then there was no opening stock opening or closing stock okay so very simple problem this is a very simple problem so but one logic everyone should remember in order to produce any product okay if we need to produce any product we need the raw materials opening stock we have to purchase raw materials so here is an information regarding direct materials the direct materials amount is given that is 5000 okay for this process a 4000 amount up for the first process that is process a 4000 amount of in the process a 4000 amount of materials are used that's a amount that is in terms of rupee but what is the quantity or what kg of raw materials used that is required that, is, uh, that should be given so in the upcoming problems you will get that uh, actually uh, this is not possible because uh, there is an only information regarding the amount I mean, it is amount information are only in rupee but actually for the production for the production of the product for the production of product that is x what is the amount of what is the kg or what unit of uh, materials are used that should be given that is not given here but um, uh, there is a possibility of asking questions um, uh, simple questions in the examinations also uh, uh, intention is students won't get any confusion okay the students don't say they have a uh, teacher has not done the problem okay so this is a very simple problem logically we can solve this problem okay so uh, let us start with the solution let us start with solution Okay, solution. Solution. Okay, right in the middle. Okay, process account. Process A account. Okay, first one by one, process A account. After that, draw the format of preparing the process account. Particulars quantity rate amount, particulars quantity rate amount. particulars quantity rate amount then particulars quantity rate amount okay okay everyone should fill it i have observed in the examination last examination uh, students uh, uh, solve the problem but they don't fill the uh, format okay format should be clear okay, it should be everything should be cl clearly written in the format don't forget to write in the uh, examination everyone should write it quantity rate amount amount in terms of rupee as we are in india it in currency is rupee okay there is no information regarding quantity and rate also but uh, we should maintain we should maintain it is required in the further problems okay then firstly direct materials two direct materials two direct materials two direct materials so what is the quantity of direct materials used there is no information in the beginning what is the quantity of direct materials used that is not given so we cannot write it there is no information regarding rate also but amount is there in process a 4000 amount of direct materials is used 4000 then direct labor to direct labor to direct labor what is the amount of direct labor 
for direct labor that is wages 1500 1500 then direct expenses to direct expenses what's the amount of direct expense 500 okay is it over is it over now no there is the information regarding production over it don't forget to write it everyone should write it even that should also be considered it is given here the, that should be that uh, production over it should be allocated on the basis of direct wages so next write production overhead next write production over it so what is the base for allocating direct wages that uh, uh, production over it that is direct wages what's the amount of production over it amount of production over it is 6000 base is direct wages what's the direct wage of production for ca 1500 okay so what is the total direct wage total direct wage is 4000 calculate calculate 6000 into 1500 divided by 4000 6000 into 1500 divided by 4000 2250 okay that's all that is with regard to process a that's with regard to process a make the total okay what is it quantity there is no information regarding quantity rate and then amount amount total 4000 plus 1500 plus 500 plus 2250 8250 okay so in process a okay, write the total in the both the sides 8250 okay in process a what is our pro what is exactly our product our product is product x right product is x okay so in order to produce product a firstly it is processed in process a it is firstly it is processed in process a and in the process a for producing this product x 8250 rupees is in card that's what the interpretation that this 8250 is inclusive of material is inclusive of direct labor is inclusive of direct expenses then production over it in total in process a in process a 8250 is incurred okay including the cost of materials including the cost of materials the labor direct expenses and production over it okay so as there is no information regarding loss loss we cannot calculate the loss also because there is no information regarding what is the quantity of materials used only if the quantity of materials used is given at that time we can calculate there is a chance there is a chance of loss of materials some materials will be will be lost in the cost of production okay that cannot be uh, controlled that, that they are called as the normal loss sometimes um, the loss happens a lo loss in quantity of material happens because of the negligence of the workers or any other human reasons they are called as the abnormal losses so as there is no information regarding the quantity of materials used for the production of the product x so we cannot calculate the losses here or we cannot identify the losses here so what is the amount remaining that what is the cost incurred in process a that is rupees 8250 that should be transferred to process b okay Okay, here 8250 right 8250 okay then by process b account by process b account okay then 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 prepare process b account same format same format process b account particular quantity rate amount quantity rate amount process b account
okay process b account okay particular quantity rate amount in the bracket rupees particular quantity rate amount yeah start filling so we should and uh, this one if there's an input any input here starting from the starting any input is there don't mark the star mark here so just for example i'm writing here so this here there will be output this is considered as the output of the process a this one is considered as the output of the process a the output of the process a the output of the the output of the process a will be considered as the input for process b for the next process simple to understand the output of the process first process will be considered as the input for will uh, will be taken as the input for next process okay so now to process a account to process a account what's the amount incurred cost incurred 8250 8250 then one by one direct material direct labor direct expenses two direct material two direct material amount is process b now you have to see only process b only okay 600 600 then direct materials two direct material that is 1600 okay then direct expenses two direct expenses that is 300 direct expenses 300 then what production over it don't forget to write that you should write it you should allocate it production over it production over it is 6000 6000 the what is the basis direct wages direct wages of production plus process c b is 1600 total direct wages 4000 what's what will be the amount of production over here 6000 into 1600 divided by 4000 this is 2400 so amount to be allocated to production in process b 2400 2400 okay. no other information total it kindly make the total okay including 8250 8250 plus 600 plus 1600 plus 300 plus 2400 so it's amount total here 13250 sorry 150 13150 total is 13150 okay so this is this is what 13000 what is this exactly 13150 13150 is the cost of production still process b okay so what is the cost of production of the process a 8250 what is the cost of production of the process b 13150 okay that is inclusive of Process cost uh, that was incurred in process A. Okay, in total, now the product is not completed. We have not yet produced product E X. It is the product production process. The production uh, is still in process. Okay, we have not yet produced product X that is in process. Okay, so that should be transferred to one more processing. We have to process further, so we have to transfer it to process C, right? So. by process c account process c account okay next process c account same format 
डेट पर्टिकुलर रुपीज डेट पर्टिकुलर रुपीज सॉरी पर्टिकुलर क्वांटिटी रेट अमाउंट विद इन द ब्रैकेट रुपीस पर्टिकुलर क्वांटिटी रेट अमाउंट ओके सो वी शुड स्टार्ट फ्रॉम प्रोसेस बी What is why we should the input or the output of the process A? What is output of the process A? Process B. Output of the process B is thirteen thousand one fifty. That is in terms of rupee. Here, if there is there is there is an information regarding quantity, we could have would have written that as there is no information regarding quantity of metals used, so we cannot write here. Okay. So this is what the output of process B. and this will be considered as the input for process c process c this will be the uh, input so to process b account to process b account what's the amount 13150 right 13150 then one by one to direct materials 400 Okay, now you have to see only process C. Then to direct labor, nine hundred. Then direct expenses. There is no information about direct expenses. Then production over it. Total pro production over it six thousand. The allocation is based on direct wages. Direct wages of the production process C is nine hundred. Total direct wages four thousand. Six thousand, six thousand into nine hundred divided by four thousand, one thousand three fifty. Okay, that's all. Make the total. Make the total. Thirteen thousand one fifty plus four hundred plus nine hundred plus one thousand three fifty, fifteen thousand eight hundred. So this is what total cost of production. Okay. So now the production entire processing is over. Processing is over. The product X is processed through three uh, different processes. That is product process A, process B, process C. So now it has processed in all the processes. Now the product is ready. So when it is ready, the product should be sent to finished stock account okay. warehouse. Okay. By finished stock account. Actually, there is there should be information regarding quantity. What is the quantity of product? Is what quantity of metals is in the, at the end? Uh, product is produced. That should have been given. Actually, it is given that right? output is given. Output is two hundred. Is it is given? So we could write here. We can write here two hundred. Fifteen thousand eight hundred divided by two hundred means per per unit or uh, per unit uh, rate or price will be we will get. That uh, that is rupees seventy nine. Okay, so this is the cost total cost of production is fifteen thousand eight hundred. Now uh, totally that the that company has produced they have produced two hundred units or two hundred kg of materials. It's given two hundred units. It is given. So we can calculate easily calculate the per price value. Okay, so this is what the preparation of the process occurs. This, this is simple problem. Uh, this kind of question you may expect for six marks in the semester examination. Okay, actually there should be information regarding the quantity of materials used. Okay, and there should be information regarding there will be a, a information regarding loss. So everything should be given. Then it will it will be a complete problem. So, okay, I hope it is very clear to you all. A very simple problem. If you have any confusion, then we we will have a, a discussion and we will solve it. Okay, thank you so much for watching the class. We will meet in the next class.